The world is preparing to celebrate International Women's Day on Friday with the theme Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. This global day honors women's social, economic, cultural and political achievements. Today we're highlighting Sombo Muzata, an assistant professor in the Department of Political Science at James Madison University. She recently spoke with VOS Paul Ndiho. International Women's Day is uh, basically a recognition of, um, you know, uh, the work that women do. It's a recognition of the value that women bring to the table. Um, it's um, a recognition of the continued fight uh, for women's rights. For a lot of uh, women, uh, let's say, on the continent, uh, they really don't understand what it means uh, to be recognized, uh, to have a day that uh, celebrates you. Uh, what would you say to those women? It's not just a day. Uh, women have to be recognized every single day. Women have to be recognized every month and every year. So let us embrace this specific day that has been set aside and um, um, in addition to bringing out issues and uh, that women have across the world and specifically women in Africa have, let us also use this time as an opportunity to celebrate because if we're recognizing the importance and value of women in the lives of everybody, uh, we need to be able to celebrate um, the women. From talking to you, you've told me that uh, you've had to jump so many hurdles for you to get there. W walk me through uh, maybe your journey, very briefly. I grew up in Chupata. Chupata is a city in Zambia's eastern province. It's right at the border close to the border with uh, Malawi. Okay. I've, I've been uh, there. I've crossed through there to Malawi. Okay, that's yes. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so coming from the neighborhood where I used to live to go to the school where I went, I crossed the stream. So to me, I always attach a lot of meaning and value to the stream that I crossed when going to school. As a young girl in first grade, a stream can be something so big and you have to overcome it every single day. I had to overcome the fear of drowning in that stream every single day. I had to overcome um, the fear of probably being attacked by whoever, you know, uh, crossing the stream. Because right at the place where there was a stream, there was lots of trees, lots of vegetation. It was very dense and it was a very scary thing. So every single morning I woke up I had to overcome that. And when going back home after school, I had to overcome the fear of the stream. I have to cross the stream. So I say that having had that experience as a little child growing up helped to build in me paths that I still use to this day. Uh, if there's something that I have to overcome, I stop and I say, okay, so what resources do I have? I look around and how best can I make sure that I get over to the other side and don't drown in this stream? You know, Paul, I always think about one of the times when I just, I just stopped. When I came to the US, uh, I learned that you have to put gas in your own car. <laughs> <laughs> so when I sat down in the car and I started crying, <laughs> I cried about the fact that I was putting gas in the car. That's not supposed to be me to do that. I was crying about the fact that I needed to set up my own computer alone. And I was also crying about the fact that, look at you, Sombo, from being in rooms with presidents, prime ministers, senior government officials, senior private sector actors, now you are scanning chapters of books. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very, very funny how the mind can just take you around, you know, itself and make you to think about yourself in a very, very different way. It humbles you. It was hard. It humbled me and the mind humbles you. Sombo Muzata is an assistant professor in the Department of Political Science at James Madison University.